hi wonderful people today we have an uh, an amazing geometric question to solve i'm very happy to see you here once again today we are asked to find x if this is a semicircle now this is not drawn to scale so please pardon my hand sketch so this is a semicircle um a d is seven dc is x which is what we are asked to find and cb is 20 ab is 25 now let's get to work well first of all this is a semicircle now let us bring in a circle theorem now this circle theorem states that in a semicircle okay Okay, let's say in a circle. Let's complete it as a circle. In a circle, the angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees. Or the angle subtends by a diameter on the circumference is 90 degrees. Okay. So, applying that here, applying that here, permit me to draw another diagram. Okay, so we have something like this, like this, and like this. Um, this is 7, this is X, this is 20, and this is 25. And this is A, B, C, D. So if we join D to B, if we join D to B, from the theorem that I just explained, it simply means that DB, angle ADB is 90 degrees, right? So we have 90 degrees here. And if that is the case, using the Pythagorean theorem, in triangle ADB, using Pythagorean theorem, AD squared plus db squared will be equal to a b squared right so it means that db squared because we want to get the length db the length of db so db squared will be equal to a b squared minus a d squared i'm trying to check to ensure that my mic is still on i don't want it to off and i'm still talking because i did not really charge it so that's why i'm always looking down at it to ensure the light is still on all right so now we have a d squared so db is what we are looking for is equal to a b squared that is 25 squared minus a d squared that is 7 squared. So we have db squared is equal to, remember that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. Okay? So it means that this is 25 minus 7 multiplied by 25 plus 7. Yeah, so we have 25 minus 7 is 18, right? I hope I'm correct. 25 minus 7 is 18. Yeah, it should be 18. All right, now multiplied by 25 plus 7 is 32. So that is our db squared. Okay. Now I'm laughing. Why? Because after checking, like checking on my mic, I noticed that uh, my mic even tripped off without me knowing. And it tripped off at this point. So we are going to continue from here. That is why I have to cut my video from this spot and start all over again. Now look at this. Um, we multiply this by this. So we have 18 times 32. 2 times 18 is 36. 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5. So we have 5, 7, 6. Okay. So that means that we have db squared is equal to 5, 7, 6. So to get the value of db, 
we need to get square root of 576, okay? So db is square root of 576. Now, without the use of a calculator, can you actually do this in seconds? I'm going to introduce to you a math trick that you can use to find this without calculator. And note, that math trick is under a playlist named math trick on this my channel. So when you tune into my channel, look for my playlist that contains math trick. Go there, you are going to see different math tricks that you can solve, that you can use to solve your daily mathematical problems without the use of calculator. I also try to add it here as a card, if I remember, but if I don't, just check on the screen on my page, you're going to see that, okay? All right, now, how do you do that? The first thing you need to do, note, is the last digit. Now, the last digit is six. Now, we need two numbers that each square or their squares end with six, end with six. And those two numbers are four and six because four squared is 16, ends with six, six squared is 36, ends with six. Now, this simply means that the answer we are about to get will end with either four or six. But that shouldn't bother us. That is because we have a way to sort that out. All right. Now, we are going to cancel the last two digits because this is square root. Once you hear square root, what comes to your mind is two, right? So we cancel the last two digits. If it is cube root, we cancel the last three digits. Now, we look at what we have here. This is five. So we need a number. When we square the number, we get a number that is close to five, but no more than five. Close or equal to five, but no more than five. And that number should be two. Because 2 squared is 4. Okay? It cannot be 3. Because 3 squared is 9. And 9 is greater than 5. It's only 4 that is close to, but not greater than 5. Alright. So it means that the number we are looking for here is 2, right? 2 squared will give us 4. So it simply means that the, our answer is either 24 or 26. But like I said, don't bother yourself. Yes. Now, this is how to know the correct answer. What we have here is 2, 2, right? After 2, what do you have? 3. After 2 is 3. So, you have 2 multiplied by 3, which is 6. Okay? Now, you are going to compare this 6 and this 5. You can see that 5 is less than 6. And because 5 is less than 6, our answer is going to be the lesser number. So it simply means that square root of 576 is 24. So it means that our DB is 24. <laughs> so I would like you to write math trick on the comment section if you watch to this place and you actually enjoyed this trick. Okay, thank you very much. All right, now we have gotten our DB as 24. Similarly, let us find our AC. Yes, because I'm going to join A to C. Then, using the same circle theorem, this A, C, B, angle C will also be 90 degrees, right? Yes, using the same circle theorem that we used here. Okay, now, because this is right angle, in triangle A, C, B, let us find the value of A, C, okay? So, Using the Pythagorean theorem, AC squared plus CB squared will be equal to AB squared. So we are looking for AC, right? So AC squared will be equal to AB squared minus CB squared. So AC squared will be equal to 25 squared minus our CB is 20, 20 squared. So AC squared is equal to 25 minus 20 multiplied by 25 plus 20. Using this, in case if you are forgotten, this identity that A squared minus B squared is equal to A minus B multiplied by A plus B. Okay, now let's continue. So if you look at this, we have AC squared is equal to 
25 minus 20 is 5. 25 plus 20 is 45. So if we solve this, we have AC squared is 5 times 5, 25, carry 2. 5 times 4, 20 plus 2, 22. So we have 2 to 5. So to get our AC, is going to be square root of 2 to 5. Now you're going to use the same method that we used to get the square root of 2 to 5. Now this method comes in handy when you have a, low, a big point, a large number. A large number okay so all these ones are simple simple numbers if you have a large number that is when you are going to appreciate this math trick i'm telling you all right now square root of two two five remember we look at the last digit okay which number square will give us a number that ends with five it's only five that will give us that because five squared is 25 so it means that our answer will end with five okay so we cancel the last two digits now we need a number that when we square it, we get a number close to 2 or equal to 2 but no more than 2. And that number is 1, okay? So this time around, we just have 1, okay? Since we just have this, we don't need to start clarifying to know whether it's this or that. We just have one number, which is 15. So it means that AC is 15. So AC is 15. So this is 24. This line is 24. Now, we are going to introduce a lovely theorem. Okay? And this theorem is called the Ptolemy's Theorem. Okay? The Ptolemy's Theorem. Now, what does this theorem state? This theorem states that if a in a circle... A quadrilateral is inscribed inside a circle. Okay? And this is A, B, C, D. And they have diagonals A, C, and D, B. Now, this theorem states that A, C multiplied by D, B is equal to A, B multiplied by dc plus ad multiplied by bc that is what this particular ptolemy's theorem is all about now how is this important to us if you look at this you can see that this is a quadrilateral right is inside this circle okay now this is a quadrilateral as long as all the sides touches the circumference of the circle and you can see that this place is on the circumference this point is on the circumference d is on the circumference and c is on the circumference so the vertices are on the circumference of the circle so applying the ptolemy's theorem we are going to have that ac ac is what 15. so we have 15 multiplied by db is 24 24 it should be equal to ab which is 25 multiplied by dc which is x the one we are looking for plus ad ad is 7 multiplied by bc bc is 20 Okay, so we are done with this. Whew. Hope you are enjoying this. If you are, please, it's time to give us that thumbs up. Yes. Give us a thumbs up to show us that ah, we really enjoyed this your video. Thank you so much for joining me, okay? Where you need to on your notification bell and click on that subscription button if this is the first time you have seen this amazing face and this amazing channel all right thank you so much always studying at your convenience by the grace of god there must be something new for you to watch i used to use that by the grace of god because i know that being consistent is not easy it's only by his grace that we can do that okay yes and if I fall sick now, I may not be able to, to also give you videos. So it's really by God's grace. So always tune in by His grace. You must see something new to watch. Now, this is what we have. 15 times 24. Okay, let's quickly do this. This is 
20 carry 2, so we have 60. 2 times 15 is 30, so we have 360. Hope I'm correct. 4 times 5, 20 carry 2, we have 6. We have 5, yeah, it should be 360. So we have 360 is equal to 25x plus, this will give us 140, okay? So if we transfer this to the other side, we have 360 minus 140 is equal to 25 plus 140, 25x plus, let me not confuse you, okay? Let's just transfer the other side. So if we transfer, we have 360 minus 140 is equal to 25x, okay? Now, 0 minus 0 is 0, 6 minus this is 2, 3 minus 1 is 2. So we have 220 is equal to 25x. So we divide both sides by 25. 25, we divide itself, we have x is equal to 220 divided by 25. Now, let's divide. If 5 divides this, we have 5. If 5 divides this, we have 4. 4 remainder 2. Divides 20, we have 4 again. Now, for 4 divided by 5, we give us 8.8 .8 units. And that is the value of our x. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.